I am Admiral Ramdas, former Chief of the Naval Staff, who was very proud to wear the Naval uniform for 44 years and 9 months. I started as a cadet and I had the luck, good luck or good fortune to become the Chief of the Navy. And since my retirement, I became a citizen, like anybody else. And I've had the great advantage and privilege to be free at long last in many ways, which as a serving person, one is not allowed or permitted to do so. We are all sworn to the Constitution and to abide by its rules and regulations, but these are exempted for armed forces personnel when in service. But once you come out, we can and we should take our responsibilities as good citizens. India and the people in the services represent a microcosm of our society. We've got people from Kashmir to Kanyakumari and from Gujarat to Bengal. Nobody minds on board a ship or in a submarine particularly. Can you imagine people trying to find out what are you, what caste are you, what jata are you, what religion? Nobody bothers and nobody should bother. And that is the way we have all grown up together. That's the way this country has grown up together. Of course, I am not condoning uh, the previous uh, uh, governmental systems, but then we at least had a sense of fraternity, brotherhood for all our people. Or Now, of course, in the last 25 odd years, we have had sisterhood as well. So brotherhood, sisterhood, call it human, humanity as a whole in the armed forces. Now you take this kind of a situation and see what has been going on these past six and a half years. The rule of law seems to be seized up. The people who are sworn by the constitution and indeed so did our government and the Pariwa, they all belonged to this constitution which has given them the authority and the position that they hold today. And you don't do anything about your oath. It's a very strange behavioral pattern. And this is what saddens me tremendously. In the past six and a half years, what have we seen our caretakers doing? Violating every conceivable item in our constitution. We have been sworn as armed forces people to look after the country's security, which means the people who live in this. This is a people's security. We are not defending buildings and uh, uh, what do you call imarats, you know, because that is not our job. Our job is to make sure that we limit all this. And I think the concept of fraternity has to be understood. The four pillars of democracy, each one has been shattered. The executive, the parliament, the judiciary, and last but not the least, the media, which had a freedom of speech. And freedom of speech, freedom to have a different opinion, is but only correct in a democracy. And it should be taken as such. What happened? There were few people who perhaps in somebody's perception was not good enough to serve this nation. So we have the names, great names of Karbulge, Pansare, Dabulka and most recently Gauri Shankar. And so we have this system which has been corrupted and fifth, besides being Teacher's Day, also happens to be my birthday. How can I ever forget that on this very date, our great Gauri laid down her life for so that all of us can do well in this land. So, if we do not rise, then who will? 
I can only end by quoting Swami Vivekananda. He said, Arise, awake, and stop not, stop not till the goal is reached. Jai Hind. Thank you.